Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Battle Brothers. In this episode we're going to be going finally towards Lomberg to do the thing we're going to get paid for. You know, we had to defend Vardegard and Schmeltheim and all the places. It's uh, a bit taxing really, but, you know. We do it for the good of the people. For the people need us. We're gonna go, we'll quickly check in Norberg, but afterwards we're gonna head straight to Lomberg and back. Is that? Yep, they're burning the tower again. You can basically rely on Schmelt time to be like the first place hit. So we're gonna go on a punitive, ex uh, a punitive campaign there relatively quickly. We'll cure Firevan's fractured hand because it's like minus 40%, which is ah. Yeah, it's pretty much ah. It's pretty bad. It sucks. I don't recommend it at all. We're gonna go back to Lomberg quickly, then we'll go back to Schmeltheim to just try to check up on it, make sure nothing gets destroyed. We'll probably go on a punitive campaign this episode right there. Cause um, we should kill more orcs and things. If we can destroy some nests that might like help a little bit, I don't know. This area doesn't seem that badly hit, it's mostly the middle of the map and like the south of it and whatnot. Yoo-hoo! Orkies! Hello! Ah, there they are. It is currently morning. Ooh, Magnus! A level up! Let's get you a bit more offense and defense, my good man. Gerhard is still a bit disgruntled, he feels let down because we didn't let him steal our money to pay off a wizard who cursed his junk. I wish that was a joke. Firefan, that hand's still not very good, is it? Yeah. Walrum still healing as well. I'm gonna switch in Gunnar. This Gunnar does a bit more, is a bit more reliable in my opinion. So, there we go. All right, we're gonna hold our position, obviously. We'll have everyone hold, because I would like to do a counter charge. And we'll try to shoot the, un uh, the unarmored orkies first, because of course that's a brilliant target to present to us. Hopefully the warriors don't end up forming a line before them. Kind of like they're doing now. It's fine, we'll just plonk over them. Oh look, he's now vulnerable. Excellent. Eckhart, right there. Ike, spear wall. The rest of you lot, get in there. We'll get, we'll even get Gunnar to join in with his throwing weapons. It's a pretty good hit. Pretty good hit. So Brad and Eckhart should be able to just demolish that flank like it isn't even there. Uh, we're gonna continue pouring fire into their second and third line. Oh, they don't really have a third line, it's just a second line. We're gonna keep shooting them boys. That's a perfect triple target. Get a shot into him, which is very nice as well. We flattened straight, uh, two of them just straight up. They're gone. Go for the one that's easily killed. We'll, we'll use the javelins a bit more. You know, why not? There we go. We have them. We might as well use them. It allowed us to get rid of one of the orcs on the field. Hello. I don't approve of that. Oh, they're busy charging, that's fine. He's gonna run and die. He just got flattened, so there you go. He dies as well, he is avoiding our spear wall. Clever girl. Clever girl indeed. It won't help him though. He's gonna shoot his friend. We're gonna go for him. 
He seems like a bigger target for Casimir, because the other guy is surrounded by like five dudes. Including Eckhart! Who is just able to remove his armor. And he's now fleeing, that's good. There we go, clever positioning. He's now dead. That must suck for him. Casimir has taken hits. He's like our guy with the least amount of defense, so yeah. We are starting to peel away that guy's armor effectively though. You know, just keep throwing more stuff at him. I'll have Gunnar focus on him to try and get rid of some armor. Same goes for Eckhart, so the removal cannon. I'm gonna keep Ike over here to cover uh, Bertram and whatnot. That flattens him, thankfully. So we'll get up and surround that fool. I think he might be running for it, in which case, you know, let him. That's fine with me. Just don't kill Casimir, please. We're gonna tell the archers to hold. We're gonna demolish that dude. Shouldn't be too hard. There we go. Come back here and fight, you... Coward! He came back to fight. Huh. That doesn't usually work. Guess I'll take it, though. Means we can take him. Ow! Oh, now he's running. That's weird. He came, He literally came back to fight us, and then you're telling me he's fleeing. I'm not sure how to feel about this. But I'll take it. We've got our entire skirmish or the group here. Just looking, ah, get him! No, we'll get him, all right. Magnus, get in there. I had a feeling it was going to do that. That sucks. Right, Super Sarge, abandon the heights. Very nice. Let a dog loose. Help him out a wee bit further. Got freed. Stabble him. Bertram, I should have really given... Note to self. Get rid of that bill hook. Soon. Gunner. Can you do it? I mean, you hit him. That's good. Don't get me wrong. Magnus gets the kill. Brad gets a level up. And so does Gieselhair. Fantastic. The battle over. You discover a surprising captive amongst the ruins of the battle. A merchant, clothed in bloodied silks. He approaches you, ever thankful. He asks if perhaps you could take him to Whitesell. Clearly, he is not safe on the roads. You shrug and look the other way. The man quickly pipes up, offering 150 crowns if you simply help him. That's a little more to your liking. I mean, I'd help him for free, if it would help get better reputation. Gieselhair is going to be a two-hander, so we're going to give you more offense and defense. And we'll go with Battleforged to help keep you alive. Got some rumors of disgruntled people. I don't know. Besides Gerhard, of course. We basically insulted his junk, so yeah. Brad, another level up, so you'll get a bit of offense and defense as well. We'll head over to Whitesall, then we'll check on Schmelzheim. That seems like a very good idea. Making sure they don't get killed is a primary thing. There we go. He doesn't want us to pay uh, to tell us the... Uh, the price for his life, because someone else would surely uh, purchase it. There we go, we don't have any trouble passing by Felsheim. I have had them, like, sometimes try to attack me, sometimes not. Ah, 
I was hoping to pass by here and collect a roundel dagger that someone pointed out. But it appears that the stock has been refreshed. I tried. Oh, we'll sell some things here. Male shirts. Male shirts. Orc weapons. Orc shields and all that stuff. Down to 60 items, but still quite a lot. Bertram. I'm gonna give you a military cleaver instead. Enjoy. It's gonna give you slightly more fatigue. And slightly more initiative as well. Let's go to Schmelz time on our way back. Just out of a courtesy. Like a worried mother, we check in to see if uh, everything's going alright. There's a lot of goblin raiders here. I'm not gonna engage them. Not today. Good lord, man. That's like three outfits. How many guys are there? I mean, these are all orc young, so we can easily take those on. A plethora of orc young! We shall commence battle! In the night. Now this is fun! Ah crap, Firefan was healed, wasn't he? Well, we will give the other brothers of the party a time to shine. And you know, Gieselhair can get a crap ton of experience. I think he still has that XP boost as well. There's 28 lightly armored suckers out there, waiting to die. Give it to them. Look at that! The beacons are lit. Gondor calls for aid. We must hold the line. Give them something to think about, men. Let that be pain. Because they don't like pain. They're very uh, squishy like that. Perhaps we shouldn't have brought such a second line. Oops. That may lead us into trouble. But at the same time, I kind of like firing so many volleys into their lines. It's just causing so much havoc. They can charge and like wreck stuff though, so we've got to be a little bit careful here. Try to not get too enveloped. Ow. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. I've got a good feeling about this. At least good enough. Good lord! There's so many of them! You ever get that feeling when you, you think you made a huge mistake? This is how that feels. This is how that looks. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, Eckhart's gonna have some fun, that's for sure. Uh, we're, need to, we're gonna need to send Gunnar up north. Oh, there we go. Eckhart has got this. I'm pretty bloody sure. Uh, unfortunate charge, but oh well. Kill them! Kill them all! Look at those ugly mugs. There's so many of them too. It's alright, they will all die today. Or at least most of them. Uh, Ike's in a bad spot there, that's a bit of a shame. They're gonna try to kill Ike. They might actually pull it off as well with those numbers. I mean, 
mean, we're doing a good job calling the numbers. You know, don't undersell ourselves here. We are doing a good job. <laughs> Their attrition is uh, bloody lethal. Ow, that sucks. That's bad. That's actually bad. Oh, come on. He needs to die first. He is uh, troublesome right there. Eckhart does a number on him, but doesn't kill any, which is kind of annoying. We need to rapid kill them right now. Or at least, like, get them to flee or something. Otherwise, this battle might end up in death for us. There we go. Some of them are starting to flee. They're starting to realize that, oh crap, this might be bad for them. I'm glad. Because it's about bloody time as well. Eckhart's catching some of those charges. That's good. Ike is almost entirely surrounded. Oh my. BVS has quick hands. That's good. That's less good. Or the poor dog. Distraction Doggo 101. It works. Eckhart just keeps catching the charges on his like chest. Being like, is that all? Laughable. Focus fire on the ones that are not fleeing or dying. Bertram there is doing the jiggle. Hell yeah. Ike, prioritize defense. <laughs> you poor sod. There we go, Roderick removes a couple of them. Sir Eckhart is too tired at this point. There we go, use those free reaction attacks. Excellent. Super Sarge. Just jab him. We're down to 14. We've literally halved their numbers by now. Bertram, next turn, you're gonna put that cleaver to work. Oh, this is amazing. It's horrifying, but it's also amazing. Oh, crap. That's really bad. Damn it. Hang in there, Finch. Oh. He did the Lord's work. Right, I have an idea. It might be foolish. But that doesn't matter. Uh. Damn it! It's a 95% chance I hit and it missed. So my reasoning for this is... He was gonna try to flee. We prevented him from fleeing for one turn by blocking his road. Wait, no, I should have just had Casimir rally. That also would have worked. But that didn't cross my mind at the moment. I'm kind of preoccupied. Trying to think of how not to get people killed. Bertram! Leave me this. That cleaver actually works surprisingly bloody well. There we go. We are cutting down their numbers. And I. Oh, God damn it. I wasted the rally. Battle fatigue. Yes. Tunnel vision. Whatever you wish to call it. At least they're all panicking now, or at least starting to. There we go. Ah, 
Ike, disengages. That's good. Their soul and their their morale is going down the drain. Comrades, we may yet live to see tomorrow. We're still standing. All of us. Boom! Geese O'Hare gets 700 experience. That's how you do it! In the hood. Shmuel time appears to be safe. That's good. We just smacked the crap out of a giant org horde. I'm pretty proud of that. Well done, lads. You did good. You did good. Now we're gonna rotate in some fresh people, because people are unhappy for some reason. Firefans also back. Yay! Now we can kill faster and more effectively. Also, I wanna repair all the things we got. There's a lot of crap we got. Holy moly. I might keep the cruel falchion as well and give it to one of my archers as a backup weapon, as you know. Bertram is actually really capable of fighting. But give him the falchion, he's gonna do a lot less, actually. So, you know what? Scratch that plan. Or I might give it to BVS. No, BVS needs to rain, needs a pike to hit. Yeah. Oh well, we'll just sell it then. Hello, Felsfest. You don't happen to have any roundel daggers, that's a shame. Would you like to buy tree limbs? And cudgels and head choppers and head splitters and just regular choppers. And some crappy feral shields. We just fought the battle of a lifetime, you really should have been there. It was quite amazing. You don't have any other. That's a shame. Goodbye training for Balon. I'm not really a bad bother. We've got a jester with a funny hat. Eh. Oh, um, I need some tools. There's a horde right there of 19. We might have to smack that eventually, but not today. Not until they start burning stuff down, anyway. But I think, like, Felsfest and stuff can handle that themselves. You appear to be alright for now, buddy. Good. Watch Vardigard get destroyed now. I'm watching you. I'm watching all of you. I think the situation is safe enough that we can go and get paid. Yeah, they're burning Felsfest. Oh. Orc Marauders, a plethora of Orc Young, you say? Archers! We can fight them in the swamp! Ha <laughs> ha! Excellent. Welcome back to Firefan as well. It'll be grand to have you here again. Oh, thank you. Yes, I would love to take my uh, my actions now. <laughs> oh, come on, BBS. That's an 86. That really shouldn't have missed, in my opinion. Oh, well. Whatever. Yeah, the rest of us are just going to hold and sit here and be pretty... I'm trying to shoot the ones without any armor first. Only one casualty. Disgusting! We need at least one more. There we go. We can maybe work him over as well. 
Where's friend? Right there. Yeah! That's more like it. That is so much more like it. Ah, oh, Firefang cannot do anything. Tis a shame. Yep, you deserve an arrow. Definitely. Firefang gets a stun as well. It's so annoying how you can't do anything against that unless you specifically, like... It's fine, I guess, but still. I feel there should be a counter to it. Or at least in some way, you know. Make it clever gameplay, at least. Oh well, let's kill some fools! Speaking of killing fools, there's a lot of fools out there that need killing. Where do we find the time to do it all? One of them's fleeing. Oh, come on, really? You bastard. <sighs> I will stab you to death. You have no idea. You little shit. I was just trying to get Firefan back into fight so he could do fun things like, oh, I don't know, kill everything. And people have to be like, no, I'm gonna stun you instead. Granted, it's a good move by them because he's bloody dangerous. Really? You get to disengage with a 30%, uh, 25% defense penalty? And you're telling me none of my guys were able to hit you once? That's about as believable as me going to the moon right now. We fought them in the swamp so they couldn't pull crap like this, and what do they do? They pull crap like that. It's a bit disheartening. Oh, he tried again as well. My lord. Can you believe the nerve of them, some orcs? They just keep trying to stun us. There you go. Eat that. Oh, he rallies. That's good. And we get to smack the crap out of him again. Rally this. Little bastards. Rally that. Firefan finally gets to do something, and by god, is it worth the wait. But that is Firefine in a nutshell. It's always worth waiting to see what he does. You are being a righteous little bastard right now. You should stop that. <laughs> Balon is not having a good day. He really isn't. Oh well, that's like one or two left fighting. The rest are dead. Order turn. Firefan gets to do a bit of damage. Uh, I'll have Bertram try to shoot that one. There we go. Uh, there we go. One of them still fleeing somewhere, so we don't really care about him. Get him, Gerhard! Aww. Well, Firefan should be able to get him. There we go. He hasn't made it to the map board yet, has he? Well, we'll just wait. And, like, I'm not gonna continue further. Yeah, there we go. It's over. Right, smack the crap out of you. We did. You could have done dangerous stuff, sir. Actually... I've got some more things to do, so we're going to call it for this episode here. These episodes tend to be a bit shorter because, well, I'm a bit busy with life, so sorry about that. 
Hopefully you still enjoyed it though. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. Helps me a lot, helps the channel a lot. Let me know if you want to see more Battle Brothers. It's been a long series, but you know, we can still keep going for one more Endgame Crisis. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I will catch you all next time. Until then, have a good one folks.